Hello, Fun Nation. My name is James, checking in with team number 2337, the Engine Nerds, here at the first in Michigan state championship event. The Engine Nerds, year over year, build sleek machines that look really nice and perform even better on the field. This year's iteration is no different. With great uh, climb mechanism, shooters, a really unique double-sided intake, and so much more, here we have Andrew, Owen, and Claudia to tell us more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Andrew, why don't you get us started? Let's look at the chassis of your robot. What makes it special on the Engineer's robot this year? Yeah, so the chassis this year is custom made. We made a custom swerve module with a custom plate and a custom motor spacer, which allows us to quick, quickly disconnect the motors and make fixes if needed. Um, this year we did a Kraken on the drive motor and then a Falcon on the turn motor, which allows us to drive fast while still being able to turn. Do you know approximately how fast does your robot go? I believe we can go 18 to 20 feet per second. Wow, very fast. Well done, yep. Andrew. Thank you. Oh, and you want to tell us a little bit more about the note path on your robot? What does that look yep. like? I would love to. So the note path on the robot, it's an under the bumper intake. So basically what that means is that there's nothing that comes over top of the bumper, but it goes underneath the bumper. Our bumper comes up a, co a couple inches to let the note slide through. And underneath, we have four rollers that allow the, ro the note to intake. So we have one that stretches across right here on the other side, which then when the note hits, it drags across the floor, acting as the floor as another roller, basically. And then as it makes more contact, as it makes contact with the other rollers, as it goes through, at some point it hits these two rollers. These two rollers, basically what happens, the note pringles, it hits the second roller and it goes up into our delivery system. The delivery system, they're all dead axis. So all the, so these about seven rollers, the note falls, goes straight through it. So the delivery system is short enough where the long note can go through and reach this part of the end effector, which and then these are live and these are spinning for the note to be taken into place, which is then put right around here. And then which is these flywheels are spinning, obviously pretty darn fast. Or they will hit the flywheels and phew, note shoots out straight into the speaker. So Owen, this right here, tell me a little bit more about, you called it the tongue. What the does tongue. that do for your robot? So basically during autonomous, we had this minor problem with our note hitting the flywheels a little bit too early. The, nut, the flywheels were constantly spinning throughout the autonomous period. So, and our bean brakes just weren't cutting it just quite right. So in uh, act of innovation, uh, we decided to put in a servo right here to act as a low marking for the note and make and have it stop. And then soon as this tongue, tongue goes down, it hits the flywheel, straight back into the speaker as always. Yeah. Great engineering iteration there, Owen. Thanks yeah. for telling us about us. Claudia, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your relatively unique climber here on your robot? All right, so on the climber, once we're ready to climb, we're able to extend these arms up. And then, as you can see, there are three different notches. So when these three notches are extended, depending on how the chain might be oriented, we can grab onto it from anywhere and pull ourselves up so that we're level. Very cool, Claudia. Thanks for telling us about that. Owen, do you want to finish this off with a little bit more about the programming that goes into this robot and what makes it so effective on the field? Yeah, I would love to. So our autonomous period is typically, we have three limelights on the robot that, that tells the, the robot what position it's in at all times. There's, there's a couple limelights to read April tags, as well as, as well as our tongue in the very front, as I talked about earlier. The tongue in the very front allows the note to not hit the flywheels. And yeah. what about some yeah, sensors on this robot? I understand that helps with your automation. What does that look like, especially in that whole indexing process? Yeah. So our so we have a lot of sensors on the robot, like these LEDs. It tells our drivers like what stage that the note is in, like in the note taking process. So if it's blue, I believe it go. It's in the delivery system right now. When it's green, it's ready to fire. All the, and all these lights are ticked off by sensors on where the note is. So we have sensors in the delivery system, we have sensors in the intake, and we even actually we even have a camera on our intake that tells our driver where uh, where the note is in our delivery system. 
But uh, these colors will tell the drivers like, hey, the robot's ready to fire. The robot's ready to move. It's like re it's ready to aim the shooter. It's ready to prime something. It's, not, it's constantly giving us feedback back and forth. Well, Owen and the engineers, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us yeah. today. Fantastic robot this year. So much engineering marvel that went into it. Can't wait to see how you perform here the rest of MSC and hopefully at the World Championships. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James with Behind the Bumpers, signing out for today. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.